hi you guys welcome back today i have a very vibrant spring set for you guys so the colors i'm going to be using was sent to me from born pretty i'm going to show you those really fast they're just really bright and vibrant and perfect for the set i have in mind they also sent me this magnetic like cat eye gel polish too as well so we're just going to get straight into the set. I'm going to start by putting down this really bright lime green polish. And you guys keep in mind when you're applying gel polish, you want to do it in thin layers. Another option you could use to get more even coverage when you're applying gel polish is to use a poly gel brush. So just one of these type of brushes, you just use that to fan that gel polish out and it makes the application so much smoother and even when you use that gel brush. All right, so after that's cured, I'm gonna apply this magnetic gel polish. And when you use this type of polish, you could leave it as is, but what's really cool is if you have one of these cat eye tools, you're gonna just wave it across that polish and you can create all kinds of designs using this type of polish and this cat eye wand. Honestly, with this gel polish I used underneath it, it didn't really give like an effect that I wanted. I feel cat eye gel polish really goes well over darker colors for the most part. So I just went ahead and just did, you know, two lines across um, and then cured it. So next I'm gonna use this Born Pretty 8-in-1 Nail Glue. It serves as a base gel, blooming gel, um, nail glue. So they say it serves a lot of purposes. This time I'm gonna use it as kind of a base gel and a blooming gel. All right, so now I'm gonna get all my colors ready for this marble design. and. To get my brush ready, I like to dip it in acetone and I also keep a sponge at the bottom of my acetone jar. This really helps to clean that brush off you guys as you're doing your designs in the middle before after all that. All right, so let's take this brush and we're just gonna roll it around in that polish and get as much onto that brush as possible. Next, I'm just gonna go in a curved motion across the nail like a horizontal angle um and you don't have to be perfect with these lines i think that's what i love about doing marble designs is you do not have to be perfect you do have to however get a technique down that way when you go to make the design it will come out looking like you know what you did you know what i'm saying <laughs> So right here, I started with a very thin nail art brush, but as you guys see, those colors are already meshing back together. So that's one thing when you're marbling, you wanna make sure you're using the right brushes. The right tools are very important to getting the looks that you want when you're marbling. So I did switch over to a thicker beetles brush. And as you can see, there's more spacing in between the polish. And that's more forgiving um, when you're doing this drag marble so that everything just doesn't blend together and you get a messed up look before you can get that design cured. And speaking of curing, once you're satisfied with your design, you're gonna wanna cure it ASAP. Do not waste time. Um, you could mess it up and you don't wanna just start over after you've done all this hard work. Next, I'm gonna put on this like fuchsia pink, very bright, I love this color. A quick tip, always wipe off anything on your skin before you cure your gel polish. For my other fingers, I'm gonna mix and match these colors. Um, I think that just will give it an even more vibrant look um, and just make them pop. I am gonna go in and add one more coat just to make this base color a little bit more pigmented. All right, I got them all colored. We're ready to marble these other colors. So I'm gonna go back in with that eight and one from Born Pretty. And honestly, you guys, you can use a base color. 
you can use the same color that you have underneath it if you want it you could use top coat anything that's going to make this marbling easier because um, that's what's going to help you drag all these colors together which I'm gonna show you in just a quick second. So I am making these lines as even as I can and width as it goes across the nail too as well. You don't want it to trail off too thin because it won't give that marble look an evenness. All right, always important to make sure you have your hand in a comfortable position before you start to commit to making this marble design. So I'm going up above where all the polish starts and then I'm just dragging it down all the way through the polish. You guys, it is that simple. Um, I know once you get started with marbling, it can be a little discouraging, but if you just practice and you know these little techniques, you're gonna be a marbling professional. I'm not saying I am by far, but I love doing it and I love the different designs that I can get with marbling. So I'm just gonna let this play out for a little bit so you guys can just see this technique a few more times. But I did want to add really fast, as you see, as I'm putting these lines across, I am rolling my fingers as well. That does help a lot with getting this polish off the brush and onto that nail. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do another one. So you guys, keep in mind when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you're keeping this brush clean between every wipe. So like I said in the beginning, I keep my acetone jar and I keep a sponge down in there and that really helps to just clean that brush off. Um, and I do that in between every wipe as I'm marbling. Okay, so now I'm gonna encapsulate this design with some Born Pretty Top Coat. And honestly, you guys, you can leave this design as it is right now if you like it. Um, but I am gonna put some foil on top of these bad boys, okay? Cause you know I like my foil on top of my marble. That's what we're gonna do. One thing I wanted to mention about me putting that top coat on, when you go to, you know, place your foil, do your foil placement that top coat is going to help you a lot because gel polish has a sticky layer and you don't want your foil to start sticking to your nails as you're trying to size it on um, and do all that so always put a top coat on to use as that barrier so your foil's not sticking on your nail before you want it to all right and I think I'm going to go with this cute butterfly and then I'm going to go ahead and see which other ones I want to use for my other nails. I'm using McCart foil glue and I'm doing it in a thin layer. So I did cure that glue for 30 seconds in an 84 watt. This is a two in one LED UV lamp. And I also let the glue sit for 60 seconds before I started to apply the foil. Now, this foil transfer was not perfect, but I mean, it came out fine. Like it wasn't drastically horrible, <laughs> but I'm still trying to get my foil transfer down. I know a lot of people, you know, struggle with foil, but you know, just keep trying. Okay. And as you see here, I'm, I'm starting to peel it off. And when I notice that the transfer didn't go like I wanted to, I just put that right back down. All right, you don't have to peel it off if it's not coming off the way you want it to. Like I said before, you own the foil, it doesn't own you. You know, take your time and get as much transferred as you possibly can. 
All right, so I'm gonna do the other ones. So you will see me use a couple of different techniques to try to rub this foil down and get that transfer. There's no one way to actually do foil. You just have to figure out what works for you. And even if it works for you one time, that doesn't mean it will work a second time. I think we all know that if we've tried foil before. All right, you guys, so I have my hand up in this really awkward position, you know, trying to see how this shot will work out. So I just want to give kudos to all you out there who can actually do your nails like this. It's really uncomfortable. <laughs> all right, so you see me using the silicone brush too as well. I honestly don't think it works that well for foil, but this little brush can be used for so many other things when you're making nail designs. All right, a little satisfaction peel off for you guys. And then to top it off, I have to go in with my McCart glitter top coat. I love this top coat so much, you guys. Let me know if you have this top coat down in the comments and if you like it. If you've never tried this top coat, I will leave the link down in the description for you guys. It's also it's so hard for me to say description sometimes, um, but I'll leave it down below for you guys if you want to check any of these products I used out. So here is the thumb Omnia. OK, <laughs> she knows what I mean. All right, you guys, here's the final reveal of that set. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.